Hello everyone, and in this video, I'll be going over animations. So, an animation is basically uh, an array of frames that are just played to where it looks like it's actually moving. In this case, we're using textures to make it look more dynamic. So, go ahead and create an animation class. I've already done this. And for the variables, we're going to need a private texture array. I'll call this frames. We're going to need a private int pointer. We're going to need a couple doubles now. So we're going to have a private double and we'll call this one elapsed time we'll have another double for current time and another double for last time and a double for the frames per second so this will contain all the textures for our animation. This will be a pointer value for our array here. And this is just some frame rate limiter, much like the main class has, but this is for our animation class. So we'll create a public constructor and for the arguments to pass in, we'll have an int amount. We'll have a we'll have an int FPS. And we'll have a string file name. So I'm gonna go ahead and set some of these to zero. So pointer will be zero. Elapsed time will be zero. Current time will be zero. Last time will be timer get time. And FPS will be 1.0 divided by FPS and make sure that's casted to a double as well. Okay, so now on to the frames. Frames will equal to a new texture array. We'll pass in a mount. And now we're going to loop through all of them here. i equals zero, i is less than amount, i plus plus. Then we'll set this dot frames at i equals new texture. Oops. New texture dot oh wait is that in the texture class itself? Yes, it is. Okay, so that's already in there. We don't need to do anything for that. Instead, we'll use anim slash and then we'll add our file name, add in underscore, add i, and then add dot png. And if you wanted to, you could have an extra string in the constructor for the extension and just replace uh, .png with extension, but I'm not going to do that. And I also have a basic little animation. It looks like garbage to me, but it's something for a test. 
And so now we have all the variables initialized, including all of the textures for the animation. So now it's time for the bind. So this is going to take a int sampler. And all we need to do is uh, use this that current time equals timer get time. And then this dot elapsed time, we're going to add current time minus last time. So I actually explain this a lot better in the frame rate limiter. So if you want more of a better explanation on the whole timing thing, go ahead and uh, watch that video. Now that we have elapsed time, we need to add an if statement. So if elapsed time is greater than or equal to FPS, then elapsed time minus equals FPS and we'll add one to our pointer. So now we'll test if pointer is greater than our frames, the length of our frames, then we'll, we'll loop back over and have pointer set to zero. This that last time equals current time. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the animation. So if elapsed time just goes over the amount for our frames per second, then we'll add one to the pointer, which of course points to our texture in the frame, in the frame array. Then if pointer just so happens to be greater than frames.length, we'll set it to zero. Otherwise, we'll get ourselves an array out of bound exception, which we don't want. And all that's left to do is do frames at pointer and bind with our sampler. And if you wish, you can go ahead and add this to make it more simpler. So now let's test it out with our uh, character. So in the player, I'm just going to comment out texture for right now. And I'm going to give it an animation of texture instead. New animation. The amount should be five for me. So in our textures, this is how we have our image here. Each one of these is an individual frame. So this is the first frame, and then this is the last frame down here. It's going to loop through them. And I'm just going to have it set to 15 for the frames per second. And it's called AN. So now when, okay, so now when we run, we shouldn't crash.
Oh, yeah. So, the reason why it crashed is because we have we didn't have greater than or equal to. We only had greater than. And well, that's not good. So, it needs to be greater than or equal to. And now when we run, we have our animation. And we can control how fast it goes by just changing the frames per second. We can have a nice slow animation. Or we could have a fast animation. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week with another video.